Welcome to back, and this is our tutorial on creating territories in Postcodes Australia using the Territory Design Wizard. Now, when you first open up Postcodes Australia, a map like this will appear. If you don't have the legend, you can simply click View, Panels, Legend, and the legend will appear on the side. For this exercise, we really don't need it, so I'll close it again. I'm going to now go and create three territories in the eastern suburbs of Sydney. So I zoom in on the area that I want, and I can navigate that area using my navigation toolbox. So I'll pan around this way a little bit more, zoom in and out, just to give me the region that I think I'm going to work with. The next step is to click on this button here, which is Create and Modify Territories. And when you click on that button, a whole series of icons will appear. The first one is called Define New Project, and it's here that we define those variables which determine or drive our territories. And in this particular case, I'm going to create territories with populations of around 100,000 people in each. And I'm going to save my uh, project into an area here called Sydney East. And when I do that, effectively what happens is that we create a brand new geographic layer with just the demographic variables that are of interest to us in that layer. So I now create my palette, and I'm going to create three regions. Area 1, which uh, might be assigned to a representative named Joe. And you'll see that over here I can select the colors. And over here the slide control gives me the degree of transparency. And for this exercise I'm going to make it fairly solid. And I click Add Territory, and you'll see that that territory pops down into this window. So effectively, I've got the first colour in my palette, area 2, which I will make uh, perhaps orange, and that one belongs to uh, Mike, and area 3, which I will make uh, yellow, and that belongs to Paul. And once I've set up the colors and the assignment to representatives, I simply go to proceed to add postcodes. And the next window that opens up identifies the colors that I've picked. And over here, as I select postcodes, you'll see that this population figure actually changes. So I'm going to select my first area, and I press the cancel zoom button, point to the first postcode, and as soon as I click on that postcode, it will tell me there are 13,896 people in that postcode and I simply start adding postcodes till I get to a figure of about 100,000 or so, which is what I'm looking for in terms of designing my territories. And hmm, that's not too bad. Now, you'll notice that I picked this one, and it's dropped it over the line a little bit. All I have to do is hit the Control button and click on that again, and it'll bring it back down again. And that's a uh, territory that I kind of like. So then I hit the Adjoining Territory, And again, I'm picking around 100,000. And then the third territory. And again, if I hit something that I don't like, it's simply a case of hitting the control button and just reversing that process. And when I have something I approve of, I simply hit Finished. Now you'll notice as soon as I hit Finished, um, I've got a, a permanent picture that I can then move around, pan, zoom into, zoom out of the whole box and dice. The next stage, I can go back in and I can actually look at what my territories actually look like. So as soon as I hit uh, the uh, the territory design of uh, the list territories button, a whole series of uh, images comes up. Um, there's how we label it. This is modifying the colors, so if I don't like a color on a certain area, I click on it, click on that, and say I don't want to make that yellow, I want to make it green. And it's simply allowing you to polish things up. At this stage also you can add an additional territory or take one away. So if I want to add another territory, it'll come back into this window, which is my uh, territory canvas. I'm going to call this area 4. Always helps if I can spell, and I'll call, give that one to Nick. Add the territory, and as soon as I hit proceed to add postcodes, 
you'll see that I've now got my fourth territory option up there and I simply start adding away and I've finished now a couple of nice little things here uh, one thing is we can actually export the territories to an Excel file and when we do that it says what do you want to call the Excel file so I'm going to call this one um, say uh, put that on my desktop I'll call that um, uh, Sydney and it tells me that within that Excel file I'm going to have two worksheets one is called output postcodes and the other one is called output summaries the first one is actually the list of postcodes that falls within each territory the summary is that aggregated figure which in our case was population so I'll hit export and my export is now being completed and we'll have a look at that just to see what, what you actually got out of it so you'll see the first worksheet is blank the second one is the output summary which identifies area 1, 2, 3 and 4 who owns that uh, territory and what the population figures are and for each and this one actually gives us a list of postcodes that appear within those territories finally just a nice little thing that uh, we've added on it's the ability to export to Google so if I click the export button and again I'll put this on my desktop and call it um, temp what happens is it will automatically open up Google Earth for you as long as you've got it downloaded and then show you on Google Earth what the territories actually look like and that's pretty well the end of the tutorial thank you